Hi, my name is Brian, and I'm going to show you how to replace AJAX content in jQuery. You might want to replace content using AJAX uh, because you want to load information from an external source that's not directly on your web page. You're able to load information using AJAX without doing a full browser refresh. Normally, when you click on a link, you'll go to a new page, and it'll go all the way to the server and back in order to show the new page. But with AJAX, the browser doesn't have to go back to the new server entirely. It can do a partial serve and just get the information that you need. So I have three pages here. One is my AJAX.HTML page, which will have the content that you will see, the regular website. Then I also have my external content, which I named AJAX loaded content.html. Then you're also going to want a JavaScript file. I have my content here where the content will appear in this box and the button to load the content. And when I click on this button, it will load the content. Now this is just everything that was in my AJAX loaded content.html file. It was loaded using AJAX, which is not as complicated as it sounds. All you have to do in order to load this is assign an ID to the container that you want the content loaded. So in this instance, I have an, a div with the ID of content. I also have a div with the ID of load button, and that's what I'm going to click on in order to AJAX load the content. JavaScript is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is create a click function on your load button ID. And then you have to type in the following, AJAX setup cache true. That is just a basic default setting. There's many settings which you can look up on the jQuery website for AJAX status, but this is the basics of what you need. And then you're going to want to load the content. In your, in your uh, ID, you're going to put the div that you want the content loaded into. Then you're simply going to use the load function and then type the file name that you want to load. And then null, there's more settings that you can put in here, but you can look that up on jQuery. And then a default function just to close out the load function. And if you just type that in, that's the basics of how to load content using AJAX. There's many more settings you can find on the jQuery website, but that's how you do it in its simplest form. Thank <music> you.